Hello again, everybody. It's Todd Starooch here at Atlantic City Celebrity Convention. It's the first day of the con here in beautiful Atlantic, Atlantic City. I'm staring out at the ocean, and I am having a blast talking to all the celebrity guests. And I have the pleasure of sitting here with the lovely and talented Kelly Thibault. Yes. Oh, I got it right. I'm so <laughs> proud of myself. I know. I honestly was waiting. I was like, is he going to remember? No. Is he going to remember? Are, no, I will not. But you did it. And now I am very proud of it. Thank you yeah. and good night. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> We We're done. To, we don't need to have, don't have an interview. To anymore. Uh, so, Kelly, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's going uh, great. Me too. Yeah. Now, is this your first time in Atlantic City? It is, yeah, my very first time. Um, I walked the boardwalk today, uh, went and did a yoga class. I feel like I'm kind of, you know, trying to, to see the whole city for what it is. Uh, okay. It's been great. So, doing a yoga class is not the first thing I would have <laughs> thought of when someone said they went to Atlantic City. Uh, you got to be healthy. It's a that's, balance, right? That's what There's a lot into. of pizza and funnel cakes and all sorts of things around, so I'm just trying to balance it out. I love it. Let's put it this way. There, nothing I did yesterday was remotely healthy. <laughs> yeah, I'm nothing I did saying. yesterday either. So that's why today I had to be healthy. Balance in life. Yes. Balance in life. So, Kelly, what is it that you enjoy the most about uh, doing these conventions? Yeah. Um, number one, meeting the fans. It's like uh, such a pleasure to meet people who watch you and support your career over the years and show up for you and root for you. And, you know, social media is such an amazing thing where you can have that connection with them and um, communicate. And um, so seeing them in person is just like extra special. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, because one of the jobs that I had on General Hospital, um, my character wasn't the most loved character. <laughs> and so it's really great for me to have the fans meet me in person to know that, like, I'm not like my character. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like shocking that people think that I'm actually like my character. So I enjoy that aspect of it too. Like they go like, oh yeah, you're actually really nice. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry that you felt I would be different, but yes. So I will tell you what, I always find that funny. Yeah. Like, cause a lot of people say that, especially I do a lot of horror stuff because oh, yeah. I'm into horror conventions and people say, oh, I, I met, you know, such and such. And he was so nice. I so know. Like, it's hilarious. You, you understand he's not a serial killer yeah, in real exactly, life. Right? Yeah. You, 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 it's you, acting. You get that, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, oh, that's so that's, too funny. So that's a pleasure, yeah. <laughs> so I think I might have asked you this last night when we did our brief interview, mm -hmm. but is there any guest here that you were excited to meet? Well, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Antonio Banderas, yes. <laughs> I mean, how can you not be excited wait, wait, to wait. meet him? Antonio Banderas or Antonio Sabato Jr., I think, is who you're talking about. That's who I am oh, talking okay. about. Yes, I'm like, sorry. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Wait, what? <laughs> like, you were shocked, too. I would fan. Rumor has that. it. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was great. That's funny. <laughs> um, oops. Yes, uh -oh. I'm excited to meet him. Um, and then who else? Um, California Dream. I got to see them perform last that night, cool which last was night, very cool. It? I felt waves I, of nostalgia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I watched that show when I was a kid. Um, so, yeah, it's just fun to meet. And Danny, I mean, come on. Right. <laughs> so it's just like there's a lot of amazing people here. I love it when convention guests are also fans. And yeah. Like, oh, I'm so excited oh, yeah, to meet yeah, yeah. You know, some people I've never yeah. met before. I'm a huge fan of actors, and singers, and entertainers as a whole. Like, this industry is so tough, you know? And mm -hmm. so if you're someone who, like, commits to it and can be successful in it at any level, like, I'm a fan of yours. You know, it's a tough business. Awesome. Yeah. Does it, does it ever surprise you that, you know, sometimes certain shows or movies or whatever have been around for a long time? Does it ever surprise you the longevity and then that people still want to come up and meet you yeah. after X number of years. I mean it surprises me that soap operas are still happening you know like that I mean I was I have, was on and off General Hospital for nine years and um, was there when we were celebrating our 50th anniversary and I think now they're on like 57 years so it's just like to be a part of something that has so much history um, and the fans that are so committed to watching it like yeah I I mean, it's, it's amazing to meet fans who watch a series for its entirety, mm. you know what I mean? And they know the characters so well, and that's the thing I love about daytime, too, is, like, you're in someone's home every single day. Mm. They really feel like they get a sense of you. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that a series and, and a show can last as long as it does, and um, it's just, I guess, attributed to the fans and also the writing and the storytelling. Soap operas are amazing to me. My mom was a Days of Our Lives oh, yeah. lady. Yeah, yeah. So I was after, on there briefly. 
<laughs> after school, I, I knew all the characters, Marlena, yeah, Stefano. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I, and people are like, you're, you're like 12. Yeah. How do you know who Stefano is? I'm like, well. You're like my mom. mom. So, yeah. Your mom introduced so, you. So that is too At an funny. early age, yeah. Um, all right, so Kelly, before I let you go, I do have one question that I always like to ask. If if you could give one piece of advice to um, a, you know, a young and upcoming actor or actress wanting to come up in the business, what would that piece of advice be? Hmm. I would say to find your what makes you unique unique because um, it's so competitive um, and so it's really important to be able to have kind of your own perspective on storytelling and to find like your own uniqueness that you can bring to a character that's going to make you stand out over other the thousands of people you're competing against so to find what makes you 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 unique and to not be afraid to like express that awesome yeah I love that when I said that was going to be the last <laughs> but it's not a question. It's okay. Do you have anything you're working on now? I that don't. You'd like to share I, 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 I don't at the to? moment. Okay. Um, I am really busy Fair auditioning. Okay. Um, I just started in the voiceover world as well. So I'm auditioning for amazing animations and so many awesome projects uh, on TV and film. And something is going to happen very soon. But yes, right now I'm just auditioning. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Kelly, nice thank to, you nice to for see you again. Few minutes yeah, of, your time. of course. This is a lot of fun. I do appreciate Great. It. Yeah, anytime. All right. Bye. Kelly Tabot, everybody here at Atlantic <laughs> City Celebrity Convention. This is Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview. Woo!